It's been almost six months since a killer earthquake and tsunami rocked northeast Japan. And in all that time, one thing that's never been shaken has been that country's long-standing commitment to public safety and the patience of really the Japanese public. So we're going to go now to CBS's Lucy Kraft, who's got more from Tokyo. There's one thing even a massive tsunami couldn't destroy. An extraordinary sense of civic cooperation. Traumatized yet calm, Japanese citizens patiently lined up for hours to get food and supplies. Instead of taking what they could get, people gave what they could find. Nearly $80 million found in safes and wallets was turned in. Police in the worst hit prefecture of Miyagi tirelessly tracked down the displaced owners who were grateful to learn that they hadn't lost everything after all. <laughs> this owner says, that's incredible, I'm so glad you found it. That's not to say all was roses. Thieves siphoned gas from cars, bank ATMs were ransacked, and store registers empty. Police estimate losses at almost $50 million. But considering the havoc wrought across three prefectures, crime was remarkably absent. Amidst trauma and loss, victims quickly organized themselves, even running exercise sessions to keep themselves healthy. And why not? Whether it's car salesmen and mechanics doing calisthenics or workers yelling the company cheer, the sense of being part of something bigger than yourself is ingrained in the society. In Japan, by and large, people play by the rules. As soon as Japanese are old enough to read and write, they're taught to be part of groups, to be team players. Now, if this sounds a bit conformist, well, it is. But in times of crisis, there's a payoff. The mindset is less every man for himself and more love thy neighbor. I asked this restaurant worker, Yuki Sato, why she thought Japan was so safe. We're kind to each other, she says. We're compassionate. It comes from our ancestors, so it's in our blood. Civil servant Hiroshi Yasui sees the ancient samurai code of honor at work. In Japanese culture, stealing and looting are seen as shameful, he says. A fighting spirit that was never needed more than now. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Tokyo.